Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, hopefully I can do this really quickly. Um, as it's been a little bit, uh, it's been a couple hours actually since I was last able to work on this. I got really busy here at the shop and so I couldn't exactly work on this. So my next page is going to be just a simple page to hold this down. So I'm gonna do just a simple little flower in the center and then two flowers on the side. So it's just gonna be just a simple one like that. I'm gonna use some glossy accents to hold this down partially, okay? Um, and I'm also going to use, obviously, some hot glue. So I just need a little bit of hot glue on this to hold it down and to kind of tack it into place. And so I'm going to move it down just like that. So I'm going to pull that out so I don't accidentally, mis you know, glue it together. So this will actually end up under there, but for right now I'm not going to have it under there because I want it to tack down as easily as possible. As far as the, I have to get some scissors, as far as this goes, I'm going to use um, some more glossy accents here on this center one. And then I'm actually, I'll do that in a second. Um, but a little bit of hot glue as well, so I'm just gonna put the, the hot glue right there. And that's just for the initial tack. And then once the glossy accent sets, like I explained, um, that'll hold it permanently in place. And then I have two little roses that are gonna go on either side. Now with these, um, I th think, well, let's do the same thing. Okay. And we are gonna be able to most likely get enough hot glue in there to kind of seep through this and ad adhere to the paper as well. So we'll just stick it down like that. And stick this down like this. So I'm still working on uploading or saving actually video number four. Number three has gone up. So number four, five, six, there might be seven parts to this video and then the final reveal of the actual video itself. So there's that. And I want to, and I'm actually gonna put a little more hot glue under there. I know I've got the, the glossy accents, but I want it to tack down a little bit better so that the uh, glossy accents can, can dry. Okay, so there is that page. Moving on to this next page is, um, excuse me, this. Okay, um, I have some more cards that I'm going to do. So let's get the ink. Oh Lord, I have the hiccups. I was drinking some Rockstar and uh, it's now giving me the hiccups and, and the burps. So you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna ink the edges on this and this is from the six and a half by six and a half paper and they have um, the little pop out pieces um, for that and then I'm gonna go ahead and ink and put together these cards well I've got the ink out we'll just take care of this um, I actually have to do a little bit of trimming on this card because I see a little bit of blue there I guess my cuts weren't as straight as I had originally thought, although most everything that I cut is a little bit wonky. Oops, sorry about the, the wiggle on the camera. Okay, and I put this here to keep that page up a little bit better. It's a little easier to work when I do that. So go ahead, ink and ink and ink in. Ink, ink, ink. 
there's that. Use that one. So not a whole lot. So um, I was saying earlier today, uh, Jack was going to come in. He didn't end up, you know, staying. Uh, he headed home. So I'm here by myself. That's why I'm filming now, I guess. And uh, yeah, so. I actually uploaded that last video for, you know, the mini, you know, for this mini album, so number three, and um, I had, I had uploaded it, and I needed to go back and fix something on the description, and when I looked, I had a dislike on it. I was like, oh, sad. I mean, I know, you know, uh, process videos are, are not for everyone, and, um, you know. It was just, you know, I think just like any of us, or not any of us, but most of us, like when we get a dislike on one of our videos, we're like, oh, well, that's sad, you know, uh, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. I, I'm just like, well, that's a bummer that they didn't like it. Um, so anyway, it's too bad. Kind of made me a little sad face for a minute. I'm hoping to get all of these done or all these pages done uh, before I leave work today. That way I can, um, and if I'm really lucky, this last video won't even need to go through Movie Maker. I'll be able to just get the other one going through Movie Maker, putting the two parts together, and then I can upload kind of all three of them together. Um, I'm not even gonna try and spread them out or anything like that. I'm gonna just, you know, get them up as soon as I can. I'll have a lot of videos uh, posted recently, if that's the case. And I have some ladies come in, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So that's what I get for saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could do these final pages in just one take? Um, and then someone walks in. Not that that's a bad thing, because people shopping is always a good thing in the store. Promotes business. So, yeah. So, a couple of little ladies in here looking around, peeking around. Uh, and they bought a few things from the vendors. So, that is good because vendors that sell stay. Vendors that don't sell don't stay because they're like, well, I'm just paying money to keep my, my stuff, you know, at, you know, someplace where I could just, um, so there's that one, uh, you know, when I could just keep it at home and give it away as gifts or whatever. So, yeah, that is good. But I was starting to get on a roll, so I was kind of like, oh, I gotta stop, it's, you know, can't, come on. Uh, you know, you can't, I can't be filming and talking to myself when uh, people are in the shop, because, you know, as strange as I am already, it's, you know, that would look even more strange so it's been a beautiful 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 day here today um, however the weather people are calling for rain and snow mix by the end of the weekend I'm just gonna pretend that I have no idea what they're talking about and um, that they uh, are lying okay now, on this one, I'm actually going to be able to get away with just using the um, the hot glue because it's going to seep through. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm back again. Um, had another walk-in, so we'll see how far we get. Um, have the other video loading right now. And um, before I stopped, what I was trying to show you guys is this. And... Um, um, I'm going to have to put these down so these cover. And I'm actually going to put this one a little bit lower um, and then this one because I'm going to be placing flowers here to kind of cover up that glue. So with these, I can actually um, use the hot glue, which is nice. Oh, someone's not happy about the traffic out there, um, which is nice because it'll it's a little bit quicker when it dries. But there we go. That's what that's going to do. So we'll put that down. Ooh, hot glue and strings. Not my friend. Not, not my friend. 
Okay. All right. So here. <laughs> Here's some more strings. I guess I would like a little bit of string with my project. Um, yeah, so the last people to walk in were some just salespeople. They want to they wanna sell toner and ink. And I said, well, she's not here. And by she, I mean Pat, because Pat is the one who does the, um, the purchasing. Let's just, sorry. I'm going to move this. There we go. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And once again, I'm going to take off the backs of the super sticky. Well, I guess it helps if I'm in frame. Super sticky. And I didn't use as many of these. the worst part with these is that there is um, a lot of static. That's really what it is. It's the static that holds them on. So, yep. <laughs> So this last, or what I'm hoping will be the last video is going to take a, like a little bit of editing because I'm going to have to put a few clips together. So it's one. I've tried to actually cut down the timing on these because like, oops, sorry. The first couple were like an hour long. Um, and that was also before I decided that I was going to go through and do the, the layouts of each of the pages prior to you know, filming. And I think that's really helped to cut down oops, on the, um, the amount of watch time. I mean, there's still going to be six videos, but if I do another one of these series, as far as the process videos go, I will definitely, um, be planning them out in advance. I don't know if that would be considered a true process video or not. Okay. And I'm also going to add a little bit of hot glue in between these just for some added stability. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to put the one up at the top. Just like so. This one is going to go there, like so. And then I have one more blue one. I don't know, like, I just liked the pop of blue because there was lots of reds and um, oranges and peach and stuff like that and yellow on these, you know, on these pages. And I just thought, just needed a pop of blue. Not everyone's going to agree with me, but then again that's why we're all crafters because we can make our own choices now this one is pretty much glued down so i'm just going to slide it back in there so there are those two pages they are done 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 and we're getting very close to the end you guys can see how incredibly thick this mini is getting so and we've still got four pages left so it's going to get thick. This page right here, again, is just going to be really simple as far as the design and outline of it. I'm going to put this in the corner like this. And again, this one has enough open space that I'm going to be able to use hot glue and then use the flowers to strategically um, cover up the hot glue where it seeps through. Okay. So, actually, we're just going to quickly that one's going to go in the center. It's going to go right 
right. There. And I had already kind of had these laid out in my brain. Some of them, you know, stayed a little, little better than others. Okay. And then this one. And then this one will climb like that. Okay. So literally, I think this page maybe took a minute. I don't know. And that's only because I'm a slow gluer. <laughs> okay. There we go. And I'll come back with my heat tool and, you know, sh give it a shot to make sure that um, there's no additional glue strings. Okay, so this next page, I gotta, do, I gotta, that's really, really good. Um, I'm going to do the, um, let me move it back just a little bit. Oop, there we go. Um, I'm gonna do the edging and um, gluing of the tags. So let's move this. Okay, all right, I have like 15 minutes left of work at the shop. So we'll see if I can at least get the filming done. I won't have everything uploaded, but I'll definitely have um, the, uh, um, the page is done by that time. Knock on wood, because I know as soon as I say that, someone's gonna walk in the door. So, um, I think it was, is it this one? Yes, this was the one I wanted out. I don't know. Um, huh. So what is your, like, I guess in the comments, if you guys are still watching, what are your favorite mini albums to make? I like trying all sorts of new ones, like new mini albums. I don't think I've ever made this, you know, technically the same style twice. Um, I mean, I've made a couple of different types of paper bag minis and things like that. Um, yeah. I think looking back on all of the minis that I've done, I think my least favorite type of mini to do is um, the tag minis. Like when you do, when you have the tags and you're doing those, um, those types of minis I don't care for. Um, maybe it's just because it's not enough space for me, I don't know. Um, but I don't really care for doing those minis. Um, I like, you know, I especially like six by six um, because they I have a lot of six by six paper pads and they just seem to fit so perfectly with um, with those and um, you know, got some glue hanging from my nail yeah and so I just feel like there's there's less waste when we do that so this is actually just a teeny bit too wide on that side there we go. So, yeah. So, what are your guys' favorites? Um, and what type of binding system do you have? It's it's interesting. Like, I've made a lot of minis since I started crafting, but I have yet to invest in a bind it all or a or a cinch and. Um, I think I should, I, you know, it would be a, a binding system that I, I've never used before and um, definitely I think would, you know, would be you, like I would definitely use it a lot when it comes to, you know, the mini albums because that's the majority of what I make. I make cards every now and then still, but the majority of what I make anymore is mini albums and I guess as you guys can see from my... Um, from the videos that I post as far as, you know, the types of videos that are getting uploaded and things like that. I do, I do a lot of mini albums. So, yeah. 
I do some altered and you know some other things, but um, you know. I'm a paper holic. Um, I have serious issues with paper. I just I need more paper. I love paper. Okay, all right. So those cards are done. So we'll go ahead and show you those. So those cards are done. And let's, let's actually, here we go. That might work a little better. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's see if we can stop it from shaking. So there's that. And then I'll bring this back in to kind of support it as I'm embellishing. So I don't even know if this would really qualify as a process video. Is this a process video anymore if I've already done all of the arranging and stuff like that and now I'm just adhering everything? Um, yeah, give me your guys' feedback. And so what I'm going to do is do this and then I'm going to kind of, I'm going to glue this down, but I'm going to use a little bit of seam binding on this. scissors yes yes I have two pairs of Tim Holtz scissors one I have completely trashed and um, I just use for all my grungy cutting and then my nicer set so gosh I think there's an easier way to to thread that through Ready, a little bow, and then we'll get it glued down with some glossy accents and some hot glue. I'm sorry if you guys think that I'm um, harping on the hot glue and the glossy accents thing. Um, it's just that I know a lot of people don't know about that. And um, I know that I've received projects that um, fell apart because the wrong glue was used. And also, you know, I've had a, a number of friends who've been crafting for years longer than me who've also had, um, proje you know, received projects that uh, fell apart when they took them out of the packaging again because the wrong glue was used. So I just kind of want to reiterate and make sure that everyone is 100% aware of that. And hopefully by the end of this video, um, there will be no, um, sorry, no mistakes made, you know, no, uh, no questions about that. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Um, let's get these flowers tacked down. Tiny little I am roses flowers. I keep thinking that I hear the back door, but no one else, you know should be coming in and then I, I think I hear movement back there. It's kind of creepy, but then I don't hear the bell. So I'm like, hmm. So every now and then I pause, I'm like, oh, what's going on? Okay. All right. Just when I thought I'd gotten over smacking that, um, that tripod. Okay. And I want to position this kind of in a way that I don't block everything, but it's only, maybe I'll do it like, like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is this will be, I put hot glue on the center and then I'm going to put glossy accents here and glossy accents on the back. Turn it over and set it down. There we go.
Make sure I get good adhesion. Okay. All right. And make sure. <laughs> More glue strings. Yay. Okay. Right, so that's done. Two more pages, guys. Two more, and we are almost done. Home stretch. Um, I don't have anything really high enough to to balance that, so this page is going to be kind of wonky as I work on it. <clears throat> so this one again is going to be super simple, and I have. I need a little drink. Um, okay, I have some more flourishes, and this is um, just, I think, Dollarama. It came from Dollarama. I don't remember where I actually got these bling, but they're almost identical to the Prima, say it, in um, crystals. So I'm gonna cut it, actually. Okay. Okay. Oops. So I'm gonna have a couple different pieces and this is just kind of a weird little thing that I'm just going to cut off. I'll save it for something else. And that will cut off. Okay. That will come off. All right. So this one is just going to be a little explosion like that. Actually, I think I'm going to do it up here. I think that one needs to be down here. And there we go. go. Just cutting it apart a little bit more. There we go. There, and then I just have one more flourish like that. I think that's good. Might be a little bit much, um, but we'll see as we start, you know, getting it on there. A lot of times I'll take these off in in stages, but in my haste now I'm like let's just take it all off and you know hope for the best <laughs> okay eek okay so this one just glue it down okay I don't know about you guys, but do you catch yourself mumbling to yourself when you're working on a project and it's getting kind of intense or like detailed? You know, I, I've noticed that I do that. I'm like, okay. Which for me, I'm like, oh, that can be kind of creepy in a video, but. <laughs> yeah. I do. Hmm. So, actually, put that down like that. Like that. Okay, put that 
down and we'll just cut that off like that that little flourish there we go I think I positioned it wrong or something I don't know what I did um, okay now This little piece right here. Oopsie, poopsie. Okay. I'll just, well, somehow. People walking by, you can hear them talking. So funny, I don't think most people realize like how easily you can hear as they walk by. And there we go. Let's go ahead. That came up. Okay. All right. Most people would call that it, but I'm not most people. So we're going to keep going because we've already chopped up this piece. And I like it. Like this. There we go. Okay, looks good to me. Actually, I've got this little that I had this little swirly piece. I have to put nah. Okay. Save the rest of it for another project. And I've actually dropped flour that I need on the floor so I can pick that up. Okay. And now I'm just going to glue a couple of little bitty flowers on there, a little bit of yellow. down. Okay. All right. Now, last one, last one. Some stretch. This is going to be a really easy one. Again, um, it's okay. I'm gonna, most of this is going to get covered. So I'm just going to use hot glue. It'll kind of hold on to the paper and it'll seep through like there. And then I'm going to put a flower in the center of it like that. And the two glues will hold one another. I'm hoping. There we go. This I have to ink the edges. And then I'm going to slide it underneath like this and just glue it down. So I'm going to grab the glue. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
slide it in. There we go. All right, you guys, it is done. All the pages are done, so now I just have to work on the on the cover and also the spine. So thank you guys all so much for watching. So there's gonna be the cover video and then there'll be the final walkthrough. So there'll be, after this one, there'll be two more. So thank you all so much. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.